Hello everybody, this is uh, Michael O'Grady again and we're going to look at uh, some buttons, uh, different types of animation on buttons, invisible buttons, uh, indicator buttons, rollovers, etc. So let's look at a standard button. Here we've got uh, indicator button and all it does is a standard rollover, changes uh, shade, I'll bring a few versions on of these. And uh, then we're going to modify the, the version, select everything, uh, come down to Align, Left and Distribute, Windows Align, or Window Align if you uh, don't know where that comes from. And here we have our buttons, it's on the same button, just working reasonably well. So let's have a look at the uh, editing mode of uh, the button. And I'm going to go into the overstate, and I want a little indicator triangle, so that when we roll over the button, um, we get a little uh, triangle to the left. So go to the subselection tool and drag around one of the corners and just press delete. Okay, drag to the other one and just use the down arrows to move it. And now when we go back to the movie and we run the movie, on the overstate on each one we have a little arrow. And it's just over to the left a little bit. Um, so we'll drag them over and I'm having trouble selecting these. Uh, it's because the I'm using the sub selection tool. So let's go back up to the selection tool and then just drag them over and then run it again. And we'll see the little indicator arrows. Now obviously these are sort of fairly fairly large. We'd want something a little more subtle. So let's delete that and have a look at um, invisible buttons. I'm using this because uh, my neighbour's lambs are pod popping out like peas in the pod and I'm going to put an invisible button over this uh, second from the left lamb. Okay. So I'm going to make a new symbol, it's going to be a button and I'm going to call it lamb. And I'm going to draw the shape. Now what I need to do is have two layers, uh, we'll call this top one uh, the lamb shape and the bottom one is the uh, temporary picture uh, as a guide. We're using temp picture guide. Okay. Now we're going into the hit state. We're not dragging it into the up, we're going into the hit state because anything in the hit state is invisible. So I'm just creating two keyframes on uh, both of these layers and on the bottom one I'm just dragging this across. I'm placing this uh, lamb here in the registration point and I'm going to lock this layer. I don't want to uh, be accidentally picking it. And then I'm going to paint. Oh, I can't uh, do that. I need to select the layer. And I'm going to just do an outline. Uh, I'm doing this at speed so it's not perfect. Uh, I'm just going to do an outline and then I'm going to fill uh, the shape with uh, a colour. The colour doesn't matter. It's the outline. Uh, make sure it joins up to the beginning. You can just touch this and tweak it as you as you wish. Just go to the paint bucket and I'll deliberately get a different colour just to show you that it does work. Okay, so that's my outline. So now I don't want the um, uh, temporary picture guide layer, so I'll just delete that or I can just drag it down, either which way it's uh, disappeared. So that's my button now. So I'm going to uh, make a new layer and then um, I'm going to drag this on. I should have made... Oh yes, it, that's right, it's going on the new layer. You'll see that anything that has a hit state visible becomes a transparent blue. And now when I run the movie, the edges uh, turn the pointer into a pointy hand. So this is now uh, a button. And we can put uh, a name on the button and we can make it do some uh, actions as we like. Okay. So we'll get rid of that and I'll just show you uh, some more buttons that I've made. Sideways button is uh, one of two. We've got sideways and rotate. And let's just have a look at this. When we roll over this, there's an animated movie clip that moves sideways. Okay. Um, so how have we done this? We've basically used a, a base shape and a movie clip based on the base shape and put these into our button. 
Okay, so let's just edit our button. On the upstate, if I click here and go to the properties, we've got a graphic, it's of base shape. If I go to the over and select it, it's a mover clip of move sideways. And on the down, I could use the mover clip again, uh, but I've just used the graphic. <coughs> So what I've done basically is on the overstate, I've replaced the graphic with a movie clip. Okay, so let's have a look at that movie clip move sideways. And there's three layers. Um, I've got some action script in the final keyframe, which is just a, a stop. Uh, I've got some animation in the middle layer, and all it does is it moves this block from here to here, uh, changes color in the, the meantime, and then ends up the same place but with a different color. Okay, so let's have a look at the motion editor and just see where we are with this. So if we drag the playhead back past frame about 25, we can see the, the block slide in and out. This is with the X uh, variable. And we can see we're applying a tint color and there's the amount, the tint amount is going from zero and as we move right it increases to 100% and then back down to 100% green uh, through frame 25, 24. Okay, so it's 100% purple at 24. Um, okay, so that's a sideways button. Now what we do is we just, I'll, I'll show you in reverse, I swap this back for the base shape which was the original graphic. Okay, So let me just do that in slow motion. Now I've got the graphic, um, I need to, okay so you see it working. Um, in the overstate I need to select once and go to the original graphic and swap it for the movie clip, move sideways click OK and I also need to change the way it behaves into a movie clip or otherwise it just stays as a graphic. Okay, so uh, the base shape uh, is here and registration point is very important that we place the object on the registration point in the graphic and the movie clip identical so there's no jumping around when we uh, hover over on mouse over. So I'm just pressing shift and um, alt now to get duplicates. Alt gets a duplicate, shift gets uh, a copy um, in an alignment, vertical, horizontal or diagonal. And here I'm just bringing various copies of the rotate button. So if you see these uh, on the left, these just slide out as we already know. On the right, these movie clips actually rotate. Okay. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've got some inspiration from that. Um, basically, the important thing is to make sure that your movie clip uses the same graphic in the same position to start and probably end the tween, shape tween, motion tween, or whatever, such that the transition from the um, up state. Um, is, is seamless into the overstate. So thank you for watching and uh, give me some suggestions for, do, for doing other movies and I'll see what I can come up with.